Welcome to the Cartoon Guide to Biology. Nothing about this video is actually inside the book. Hooray! So I guess what are we going to talk about? ATP! Boo! Money! Yay? Let's get this started with. Special edition here, to be honest, and really useful if you're going to be on your test. Now, there's this polyhedral called adenosine triphosphate. I tried to make this in education edition of MC, and apparently nine... The nine grids are not enough to actually create ATP, so I actually have just stuck and I just made a model of ATP on MC, so yeah, anyways, back to the video itself, and adenosine triphosphate is pretty complicated in how it's created, but once you see how it works, it doesn't really seem that complicated itself. Adenosine triphosphate is created of like the adenosine part, the sugar, the, the carbons, the hydrogens, and then the three phosphates. And you're using those three phosphates, so you can actually put them together. Now, imagine ATP as, like, a school bus. And then there are only three streets, three seats, and the people who are in that school bus are people who literally hate each other and would kill each other. Just kill each other, because they have, like, a little grudge against them. And so you put them in the same seats. Ah, that's pretty bad, eh? And so, so let's, and then they're like, uh, they're grumbling, grumbling, and the only thing that's keeping them there is just like the safety manager, like the uh, their bus monitor. And they're like, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. And the, what, the next thing that happens is that this happens. Everything is gone. Everything seems to be great. So suddenly the kid is ejected. The, one of the kids is ejected. And then suddenly like, okay, bye bye, boom. And they're like, yay, le ha le. Okay, what are you still doing here? And however, they are so happy. And then suddenly, the cool kid, the one that these two guys actually like, come into the seat next to them. And they're like, ooh, nice. And they start picking over them. So, and however, it is more stable than before. And then this ATP, everything triphosphate, turns into an uh, adenosine diphosphate, where there are only two phosphates and one water molecule. So, and then suddenly, you take out the water molecule and you put back the kid in. And this is where it becomes unstable. And it's like a mouse trap. The mouse trap itself is pretty unstable until like a mouse comes and stirs you upon it. And mouse is pretty light here, and like grabs the cheese. Like even that slightest piece of movement triggers the mouse trap and traps the mouse. But if it doesn't even kill it, so that happens. And that's actually what ATP is. ATP is like the set mouse trap waiting for the mouse. Well, ATP is when the spring comes down and the energy is used to trap or sometimes kill the mouse. M a mouse. And then it turns into ADP. And when you wind it back, you put the kid back on the seat. And then everyone becomes unhappy again. And then the mice, and the next mouse has actually a chance to live. Like, this is a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction of, like, the cells are used by ATP. Now, let's just say that, let me, let me just say that the necessary reactions on a cell are, like, the mouse trap, Where the sick mouse trap, the one that's spring and recoiled, is actually the whole, is actually the whole thing. It's, like, ATP. Is ATP and then suddenly the chemical reaction is needed like the mice the mouse is the thing that needs ATP to actually do the necessary work and so the mouse comes in triggers the ATP to take out the phosphate which is like the spring becomes released and then it shuts down traps the mouse and that's where the ATP turns into ADP where the spring recoiled unrecoiled and that's happened and then when you recoil back you put it in a stress position which is in your stress position, which is when the kid is there and it's really unstable. And even the slightest weight of a mouse can literally set it into ADP. In this case, the mouse is just a chemical, like this object that needs ATP. And that's about it. That's ATP in a nutshell. If you want to like a more deep analysis, think of it as like money. Like you have to transfer, you have to turn, you can't just use glucose. You have to turn it into ATP. Like if, like you can't just... Go into an American shop, like, in America, and then try to buy something with Chinese yen or Indian rupees or Korean won. Oh, let's see. Because, like, technically, even though those are money, it's not, like, the accepted value. You need U.S. dollars, so you need to, like, exchange them. You need to exchange the glucose into the amount of ATP that's needed. And glucose can have 38 ATP molecules, which is a lot, but it's done instantly, so you're going to have to create more. You're going to have to create a lot. Like, you're going to need your body's mass amount. A body's, like, human weight. A human body's mass a amount worth of ATP just to go through one day. Wow. That's a, that's a very bad profit. But then it's worth it. So hopefully you guys understand ATP now. And if you don't, nani. So I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, shout out. Peace. Oh, yeah. And always wear a helmet.